similar to the theory of yin yang, the theory of five elements, i.e. wood, fire, earth, metal, and water, was an ancient philosophical concept used to explain the composition and the phenomena of the universe. We will follow the same structure of contents as we have learned in both Qi and Yin Yang theory. In today's class, we will finish the concept of five elements and the basic contents in five elements theory. And we will leave the application of five element theory in TCM to next section. According to the Greek philosophy, everything in the universe consists of four elements, which are fire, water, wind, and earth. These four elements are characterized by hot, cold, wet, and dry in property. That's why in some European countries, they have their own element theory, which is different from ours and which sometimes causes confusion. See, this is tarot, a divination game. If you play it before, you may know there are fire, water, wind, and earth, the four elements in card faces. Well, this is not what we are going to learn today. What we focus on is five element theory of Chinese philosophy. The concept of five element, it refers to the movement and the change of the five basic material elements, i.e. wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. It is very important to know that the concept of five elements includes the five materials and their movements and changes. If I'm asking you, what is the five elements? Your answer should be wood, fire, earth, metal, water, and their movements and changes. It may be a little bit easier to understand if we use the Chinese characters to explain. Wu Xing. Wu refers to five categories of things in the natural world. Xing means movement and transformation. Each element is characterized by its property attribution, as Shang Shu Hong Fan recorded that. Wood is characterized by flex and extension. Fire is characterized by flaming upwards. Earth is characterized by nourish crops. Metal is characterized by reforming. And water is characterized by moisturizing downwards. Wood is characterized by flex and extension means that anything with the function of growing and developing freely is attributed to the category of wood. Fire is characterized by flaming upwards means that anything with the functions of warming and rising is attributed to the category of fire. Earth is characterized by nourishing crops means that anything with the functions of generating, transforming, supporting, and receiving is attributed to the category of earth. Metal is characterized by reforming means that anything with the functions of purifying, descending, and straining is attributed to the category of metal. In the end, Water is characterized by moisturizing downwards means that anything with a function of cooling, moistening, and moving downward is attributed to the category of water. So this is a classification of things and a phenomena by five elements. We apply five elements to classify the natural world. For example, the five colors, five directions, and the seasons. They all can be classified into attribution of five elements. As a part of the universe, the human body also can be explained by five elements. Liver is attributed to wood because of its dispersing nature and soothing function. Heart is attributed to fire because of its red color and warming and promoting function. Spleen is attributed to earth due to its function in transporting and transforming nutrition. Lung is attributed to metal because of its descending nature and clearing function. Kidney is attributed to water because of storing nature and water charging function. In addition, full organs, 
sensory organs, even five emotions can find their attribution in five elements according to their relationship with the five zhang organs. So, just as mutual interaction between yin and yang, there are mutual connections and restriction among five elements, which composes the basic contents in five elements theory. Wood, fire, earth, metal, and water, basically, there are intergeneration and interrestraint among them. The red circle indicates generation. The black stars in the middle indicates restriction. Generation among five elements means that one thing bears the effect of promoting and generating another in five elements. For example, water generates wood and Wood generates fire. Restriction among five elements means that one of the five elements restricts and checks another element in the five elements. For example, wood restricts earth. And when you see the photo, could you figure out a restricted relationship between two elements to explain it? Yes, metal restricts wood. In normal condition, the generation among five elements will not go endless due to their mutual restriction. Likewise, their mutual restriction will not exclusively restrain them from developing. Therefore, each of the five elements presents a dynamic equilibrium in the whole. As each occupies the positions of generating being generated, restraining, and being restrained. For sure, this kind of equilibrium is in normal condition when the generation and restriction are kept in balance and peace. Over-restriction and counter-restriction are the main factors that break the equilibrium and lead to abnormal condition. Over-restriction means that one of the five elements overreacts on another one. The order of over-restriction is the same as that of restriction. The abnormal situation can be one element is too strong and lodge an overwhelming restriction on its restraining one, or one is too weak and being restrained reluctantly by the other. And then, what is the counter-restriction? This is a normal restriction from wood on earth. People plant trees and gather forests to protect environment. Well, the brief row is one of the disaster caused by overcutting. It is due to wood getting too weak and incur a counteract from earth. So this is a counter-restriction. Therefore, counter-restriction means abnormal reverse restriction among five elements. So, the order of counter-restriction is just opposite to that of restriction. Well, the causes for counter-restriction can be either one element getting too strong or too weak. Okay, that's all for today, and we will discuss the application of five elements theory in TCM in next section.